And welcome back, folks. Welcome back to our Ludum Der Game Marathon. We are playing Horizon Leonard. Um, yeah, this game was chosen by the almighty random number generator. And it is a game that advisably is played with the um, controller. So we are going to do that. Um, Um, so we fly around this planet and not sure what your goals are really, um, your objectives, just thinking, trying to figure out um, the controls. So this is probably the... the Deceleration, this is acceleration, and the other controls, yeah. This is the rudder. Rudder left, rudder, 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 rudder right. Can't even speak. Um, apparently you cannot really crash into the ground. When you do so, it just resets you. Okay. Which is great. Um, Hmm. Ah, I think you need to collect these various objects. Um, ah, you can actually, I think you could fly to other worlds. That's cool. Um, yeah, seamless, seamless planet to planet um, transitions. Um, I really like those. Um, I think it's it's a shame that um, the new version of the Elite games, the Elite yeah series, um, Elite Dangerous does not have those. Maybe it will at some point. Or I mean, yeah, you collect um, these items and they well provide you with. Numbers, I guess. Anyway, um, so you collect all these boxes, and if you do so, I guess you make your shareholders happy. I kind of always liked um, flying games. Also, um, yeah. Well, both the arcade arcade flying games and the more realistic ones, like the glorious Microsoft Flight Simulator, that um, unfortunately Microsoft decided one day, yeah, they could just do without, and so they shed shed all over their franchise. <clears throat> um, oh, I guess if you collect five of them, then something something cool happens. So let's see whether we can find um, find the last one. It, it would it would make sense if um, for every one of these, well, let's let's just call them elements for lack lack of a better name. Um, if each element would just, um, yeah, be present on one planet. Uh, ah, yeah. Okay, so for some reason I just completely failed to hit this gigantic, um, gigantic cube I think this yeah um, I mean I didn't as I already mentioned in the beginning I didn't choose this game and to be quite honest um, I wouldn't have done so in fact 
because the the screenshot screenshots didn't look all that appealing. Um, but this is actually fun. Yeah, I like I like that. I mean, it's really um, the game play is really really simple. Um, but what makes it fun is the idea that you are really exploring exploring these planets. And I'm surprised, yeah, ju um, just how much fun this game is given its simplicity. I mean, that's something maybe that I learned during this during this marathon. That very simple games they can in fact be fun. Um, I mean, I never play casual games because I despise them. Yeah, but apparently it's it's quite simple to make something. Well, I mean, it's not, but seemingly it is simple to make something that is fun, and you don't need to um, make a totally super ambitious game in order to achieve that. Okay, I still don't know why I failed to hit these um, these ridiculously large boxes. Probably it's a problem of perspective. Um, not sure whether you can actually switch to a first person perspective. Um, ah. And now, um, something is glitched out. I think I glitched through the planet. Um, game. I was I was just praising you the other moment, and then you do that. Um, wait, is that? Hmm. Okay, I think um, they're stabilized. I don't know what what happened there. Um. Ah, and we're still flying backwards. <laughs> um, could you please stop flying back? I mean, I, I'm accelerating forwards, so I don't know how, <laughs> how I could keep flying backwards. Um, can I please? Let us actually restart this. Okay, okay, something. I guess glitched out. Um, let us try this again. Um, yeah, so what I was saying, I'm surprised that simple games can be fun and But yeah, but it's but it's still not it's not easy to make something that is fun because um, even things that you wouldn't necessarily think are connected to the fun factor are in fact connected to the fun factor like yeah a visual appeal. I mean. Um, Maybe this game doesn't look the best, but it's, it still has some some cool things like when you transition through the atmosphere, um, how other planets appear and disappear. That looks cool, and 
Yeah, then, of course, sound is very important. Um, sound. This game wouldn't have sound. I mean, um, wouldn't have this ambient soundtrack. I think, I think it would be a bit dull. Okay. Come on. Ugh. Ah, and it, it, um, it has glitched out again. Okay. Yeah, maybe we should avoid this planet. <clears throat> it is too glitchy. Hmm. Flying through boxes, Super Superman 64 style. Uh, yeah. Wait, let me just check something. Okay. Yeah, there's uh, no, there's no way to actually switch to first-person perspective. Okay, how did I miss this cube? Hmm. Uh, well, anyway, let us let us find another planet. Okay, I'll, yeah. Maybe there's an end to this game. Um, a very cool ending, perhaps, that you get when you collect all these. Um, Um, 61 icons, well, 61 boxes, um, I hope I counted that right, but I don't think I will be sitting around here um, to collect all these boxes. That's something that maybe yeah could have been done to make the game a little bit more pleasant there was some immediate maybe a small intermediate reward for picking it up let's well, say um, well there's seven of these um, seven boxes that you need to, to collect Because I'm not sure that there will actually be anything, any reward when you picked up all these items. Yeah. yeah and the, the, the possibility of playing this in first person perspective would have been very nice. Um, and another thing that could have been done to make this maybe less confusing is, is if these boxes weren't just all boxes and weren't just all yellow but maybe would have uh, different shapes that reflect yeah the color scheme of the, the planet that you're on okay. Okay, I will get this. <laughs> uh. 
Ja, shit. Aha. Success. There are two. Ah, shit. Two of those boxes. Yeah, how did I then? How did I miss this? This game is cheating. Yeah, it's clearly it's clearly the game cheating at not be being terrible at it. It's clear it's clearly the game cheating. Okay. Okay, I will get these remaining three boxes and if it's and if it is the last thing that I will ever do in my life I will get these fucking boxes Okay, one, only one to go. Okay, there it is. Um. Ha! I done it! Yes! Victory! Yeah, um, I think the last thing that I'll do here in this game, I'm going to check out this little moon, I guess, of that planet. She has that giant, strange question mark like object. Ah. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I was just checking something, namely whether these um, planets actually exert a gravitational pull, and I don't think they do. Um, hmm. Okay. Anyway, that was. Um, yeah, <laughs> I actually forgot the name of this game. Something, something, Leonard. Well. I think, yeah, I mean, the, the title of this game will be in the description anyway. And there will be also be a link um, to the game where you can download the game. Uh, yeah. So this was the game. Um, final thoughts. Um, yeah, fun. Yeah, fun little game, which maybe a little room for improvement. Um, I didn't regret my time playing it, certainly, and I didn't. And if you stuck stuck around for this long, which you, if you did, then you must be really desperate. Desperate. Um, yeah, I hope you, that you didn't have a bad time either. So until next time folks until then <laughs>